Recently I had uh, battery problems in my car and uh, the battery started dying. Uh, so I was starting to shop around for any gadget that can uh, monitor the battery or the uh, health of the alternator. And I came across this Innova battery monitor and uh, it had some really good reviews on it. I have not used it personally. I am going to. So all you do is, uh, this is the product and you take this and you stick it into the uh, 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter or power outlet in your car or motorcycle and there are a couple of LED lights at the bottom and uh, as they light up it will tell you whether the alternator is charging or the battery is good um, so as you can see if you get a green light you're good yellow is caution obviously and uh, uh, red is uh, some something wrong with either the battery or the alternator now you can uh, use this in two modes one is for testing the battery so you can switch out the car uh, and uh, you can stick it into the outlet and uh, you can test uh, how healthy your uh, battery is or you can start the car up or uh, the vehicle and uh, you can see if the alternator is charging good uh, you can obviously use it in uh, in a car, RV, uh, marine applications. I'm assuming you should be able to use it for a motorcycle too, uh, because it's another 12 volt battery in the motorcycle, so it should be the same. Um, all right. So what else do we get here? Um, uh, this chart tells you in battery mode uh, what to expect uh, if the if it's uh, the reading is uh, 12 volt or below you're going to get a red light 12.1 uh, to 12.4 you're going to get a caution light and anything above is a green one uh, in charging mode uh, it's a little higher um, obviously this chart has all the values that you need to know so I think it's pretty uh, helpful tool so you don't get stranded uh, you can leave it uh, plugged in in the car if you, if you do not have any other use for the uh, 12 volt uh, outlet uh, I intend to use it uh, like every month or uh, you know a couple of months you know stick it in and check the battery and the alternator and see how they are doing I want to remove the um, monitor from its packaging I will do that and uh, I will show you how it works in the car Alright, so went ahead and removed the item from its packaging. Uh, it's a pretty handy tool. It, it, it fits really nice in the hand. And in the back, it shows a small uh, uh, bar chart on what to expect. Um, battery state of charge. So you can, uh, it's an easy reference. Um, this has a tilting uh, end to it, so it's easy to plug in into. Uh, any uh, outlets uh, weird uh, configurations so it, it has a 180 degrees of freedom um, so that's pretty cool and uh, I think it has a sticker on top of this let me get this out it was a screen protector kind of a sticker um, so again this is made by Innova and uh, you can look it up they have a website too that uh, you can get more details on this all right guys so the vehicle is off so i'm going to plug it into the uh, outlet port and see what readings i get let's see all right so the car is uh, switched off it's not running um, i just turned the key to on position you need that to get the power going so it's reading 12.45 and the yellow light is on um, so maybe my battery is not charged fully at this point I'm not sure um, but let's see if once I start up the car let's see what happens Alright, so once you start up the car, it's reading 14 point, 
yeah around 14.12 alright so green light is on so 14.15 which means the alternator is good uh, the battery is getting charged well so if I switch it off if I switch it off now Alright, so now it's stabilizing at 12.75 or 76. Um, and I did not start the car, it was at 12.45, I remember. And the yellow light was on. But once I gave it a start, um, now the uh, green light is on and it's holding at 12.7475. I think anything good about 12.6. They say it's a good battery. So as the reading says, uh, the chart at the back says, um, let's see, 12.6 is 100%. So 12.6 and above is good. But when I switched, uh, when I inserted it uh, before starting the car, it was at 12.45. So it was close at uh, 78, 80% charge, something like that. Alright, so it's nice to have this gadget around. Um, I can see a lot of usage for it for uh, keeping track of how your battery is doing and stuff. Now next, I'm going to check it on my motorcycle. Let's see how that goes. Alright, so I have plugged in my uh, Innova battery monitor to my motorcycle power outlet. Now this power outlet is hot wired to the battery, meaning it's, uh, it's, uh, it's connected directly to the battery. So even with the uh, bike off, uh, it's still uh, supplying power. Uh, you can probably see that because even I switch on this uh, USB switch, the immediately the yellow, blue light will come on. So anyway, um, so it's reading yellow now. Now I have not started the bike in a couple of weeks now. So that's probably what it's uh, causing this. Once I give it a start, uh, let's see. So the, I, I switched on the bike and I have not started it yet. And since the fuel pump was uh, running, uh, it pulled some power. So right now it's uh, hanging around 11.9. So let's see. As you can see, the battery is charging really well. Uh, it's hanging around 14.3, so which is pretty good. So this tells me my battery is good and my uh, it's, it's getting charged properly. So it does work for both cars and motorcycles, which is very good. Uh, other than that. Uh, it's a pretty cool uh, gadget to have in a toolbox and uh, I can't say anything else about it. Thank you guys. See you.